Yeah, so I mean, like considering that you've been doing this for a while now, before everybody had to move into this like um, remote mm -hmm. workspace, like what do you see this remote workspace as like the future for a lot of the next generation to be adopting? Because I mean, I think everybody's doing that in school right now, but like, where do you see this whole remote work trend? Yeah, so I think this is going to be like um, a here to stay, and we're going to see about half of the jobs that people traditionally used to do in office just end up being work from home. Um, and then offices themselves will follow a more of like a hoteling model where people come in, they check in, you know, they book a desk for the day, work out of there, maybe they have a collaborative event. Uh, it's still very, very important to see people in person. Uh, so it does feel odd. I don't think we'll go to 100% remote because different people will have different uh, propensity or capability to actually work remote. It might not work well for some people's mental health, which is very important, mm -hmm. by the way, because I think that's something we definitely neglect, um, you know, in a career. And when we're thinking about work is like keeping a good mental health, mm -hmm. uh, mental standing. And so I think here to stay. So get used to it and start building the skills early on to actually be a good, you know, productive work from home or remote worker, because that's something I also had a challenge with was, uh, I can't focus, you sit at home and you yeah, watch so what are Yeah, so what are your tips and tricks now that you've, <laughs> now that you've been kind of like a veteran in this space? Like, how would you advise like students? Because even students are doing that in, in, in home with school right now. So what are some advice? Yeah, so the, the toughest thing for people when they work from home is there's just a lot of distractions. Um, I think uh, when you are working from home, you want to be the most productive. You really have to streamline um, and focus in on one thing at a time, not actually be a multitasker. Uh, that's one thing that is emphasized a lot as being efficient is like multitasking. But I find, uh, especially in remote work, that's that will be your downfall because you'll feel like you're doing a lot of stuff. Um, and then when the time passes, you'll realize you got none of it really done. Um, so that's one tip is you know stay singularly focused in your work um i usually don't have a lot of tabs open uh that's kind of my pet peeve when i see people with tons of tabs open uh, i turn off uh all my notifications for social media you know, notification stuff early on in the day because that will throw you into throw you into this distraction yeah. of trying to follow that news like if something's going on with the election mm. or if there's some big drama in the news then you read that first thing in the morning, you're going to be thinking about that all day. So you have to find a way to set your mind and balance yourself before you kick off work.